60 bucks a week. That's what I'm saying. I don't eat it every day, but. Well, if you were if to. If I did, I'd be the super sized me guy. <laughs> I've lost so much weight to see McDonald's. I'd be the Jared of McDonald's. No, oh, dude. When I was working at McDonald's, I was slim. And I, that's all I would eat. Dude, I wouldn't go grocery shopping for like three months at a time. But you just eat a little McDonald's? Yeah. It's really, like, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I mean you can't, food, you can't I eat, like, three double quarter pounders a day and expect to lose weight, but... <laughs> I eat three double quarter pounders a meal. <laughs> Or like get like two Big Macs and a large fries and like you can't do that. But like if you only eat like a burger with like lettuce on it, and like all the and a fry. good shit on it. Shit, not even a fry. Even if you just eat like a quarter pounder. I don't like the quarter pounders. Really? Why not? They're too big. What? Really? I don't like big burgers. Oh really? That's why I like the cheeseburgers. Yeah, because they're like super you. like super thin, super thin. It's like dang, dang. <laughs> but yes, we are here for the easy five hundred. Without Fox. further ado, without further ado, I do. We have from Easy Dead number one, the easy five hundred. What colorway is this, Eddie? Once again, I don't know. I'll tell you half of it, they're black. Uh, Dude, they actually look like purple and white, but... I think you like a lighter purple, but... <laughs> <laughs> no cheat. You ain't gonna find it there. They start with B? Yeah. No, the second word in them is black. It's two words. Pirate black? Not quite. I wish I would've got the pirate black, so I would've had a second pair to wear. Uh, carbon black. Close. What is it? Utility black. Utility black. Utility, not Perf carbon, not pirate. Utility. So that's perfect for like maintenance job. <laughs> this is a maintenance job, Shoe Eddie. You could wear this to maintenance jobs. I'm not maintenance. So I'm not. <laughs> for the birds, man. <laughs> I wear these to clean, clean a place. Clean house. The Balenciaga like chill. <laughs> Heavy Balenciaga influence, I would say. Very nice though. Yeah. But yes, they the are. Balenciaga. I like those better than the other two. Do you? Then what, the 700s? Yeah. Yeah, I think I might like these better than the 700s too. I don't know. Some. I don't know, it's hard to say. I like the 350s and the 380s. Well, I'm not like saying I like those better than those, but like right. the, the two grandpa looking shoes. <laughs> Save these. Grandpa shoes. These kind of look like grandpa shoes too, though. Not as much, though. Yeah, no. They look more Balenciaga, like. Yeah. Which I really like. Yeah. Because you can't wear Balenciaga. Why? You don't want to get into it. <laughs> y'all can edit this up. out. No, they can look it up. Look it up. Don't edit it it's out. Look it up. It's alleged. Allegedly. Allegedly, people shouldn't wear Balenciaga. If you want to know why, look it up. Yep. We that's, all we, explain it. that's all we got to say. So these are the I'm Easy 500 Utility Balenciaga. Black. <laughs> For what it's worth. See, I even got Raider color on with the pirate flag, but I'm a Jets fan. Calling it right here on the podcast, on the unboxing. The Jets are going to win the Super Bowl. Right, Chops? 
You said the Packers and Jordan Love are gonna the win. The Jets. Well, Jordan Love sucks. We'll see about that. He ain't my court, not my quarterback. I um, think Rodgers manifested it in an ayahuasca trip. <laughs> we'll see. You know it's true, Chops. We'll see. He might have, but... In the darkness. I think free. he's tried that for the last few years, dude. Yeah, but the, it was, the team wasn't aligned with his vision. Oh, yeah. We'll see. Greg Jennings put the team on his <laughs> fucking back. <laughs> The hardest hitting safety in the league. The biggest rapist in the league. <laughs> Darren Sharper. <laughs> it's not even a legend. No, that's fact. <laughs> the court said so. What can you do? What do you give these for uh, wearability on a scale to 10, Abby? I don't know. Yeah, Say about seven. Seven? Yeah. yeah, I think they'd go well with like dark colors. Like, kind of a fall shoe if you're wearing dark pants, dark shirt. Some black pants. Black, black pants. I or feel like, like these are easier to match than uh, other, the other shoes. They might even go out in like my black shorts. I kind of. What about with the outfit I have on right now? I, mean, I feel like that would match. I feel like those are pretty easy to match. Yeah, probably. Black pairs are usually easier to match. So, so I mean, that can go. That could even go like. Yeah. The right addition of. Yeah, no, definitely. Color. Really, anything. Yeah, I give it a seven too. I mean, the silhouette's not my favorite, but black Yeezys, they're black Yeezys. That's true. What can you do? Uh, I have no idea what the retail value <laughs> on these. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just thinking about something. Uh oh. I'm just thinking why he hasn't made the poop brown color with that <laughs> poop back. That should be on the box. The scoop -poo. Poo. Scoop. <clears throat> so that's uh, what we got for our Easy 500s. Utility black. There's a good review. I mean, yep. these would be very comfortable, though, man. Yeah, no. Very true, man. <laughs> very true, man. We ought to fucking everything and talk about, man. <laughs> Shout out my brother, man. That's my boy, man. What's that? Wonderful shoe review. Thank you all for tuning in. Yeah, have a Much great rest love. of your day. Have a great rest of your week. Have a great rest of your month. If I don't talk to you again, have a great rest of your life. We'll talk we to you again. Like, comment, subscribe. We out. We oh. on the rise. Before we end the video. Did you hear about the uh, <coughs> the founder of Born and Raised, Eddie? Um, Do you know what Born and Raised is? Yeah. Well, it's like a a clothing brand essentially, and they were set to do collaborations with Nike, yeah. and they have previously done collaborations with Nike. Yeah. Well. The founder of Born and Raised passed away tragically in a car accident, June 28th. Okay, okay. So, rest in peace to uh, the founder of Born and Raised. Right, prayers, hey, bro. prayers go up, go up to the family and uh, everybody that was close or uh, everybody that, you know, was influenced by Sub person, so. Wow, that's a good, a good note. Felt like that, that should be addressed, and uh, we'll see if the upcoming release that was supposed uh, to come out on the twenty first is uh, released at an appropriate time. It's oh, been postponed, so. 
That's true. So I think it was appropriate to postpone it. Stack X even stopped trading on that specific shoot. Really? Yeah. So. Just so people aren't making a profit off this stack. Yeah. Like. Is it that was he do with Virgil alone? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, after Virgil died, like everything he touched basically went out. Turned to gold. So. It happens. And it probably will still happen. Who knows how long StockX is going to pause trading. There will be other ways to do that too. And yeah, there will be. Either eBay or whatever. Yeah, and I'm not sure about other platforms and what they've done. There's a lot of platforms out there that you could probably get them from. Mm -hmm. So it's unfortunate to have people specifically profiting off of somebody else's death and other people's misfortune. No, that's very true. RP brother. Cutthroat. It's a ruthless world. Same clan.